Hey everyone, my name is Rafael Santos with the Workspace One support team, and today I will be showing you how to renew your APNS certificate for iOS devices. So the first thing we're going to do is log into your Workspace One console and head on over to the iOS configurations. And on this page, you'll see all the information that you need to renew your certificate. On the bottom right, you'll see the option to renew, so we'll go ahead and click on that. And on this next page, we'll see all our instructions needed to go ahead and complete the renewal process. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to download the AirWatch certificate request. And then we'll click on this Go to Apple button to transfer us over to the Apple Certificates portal so we can upload this P-list and download our new certificate. Before we head over to the Certificates portal, I'd like to point out that it is very important that you have the credentials for that original Apple ID that was used to initially request the certificate you're renewing for you to be able to log into the Apple Certificates portal. If you don't have those credentials, you'll have to provide a new Apple ID, and with doing so, you'll have to re-enroll all of your iOS devices that are already enrolled so that they can re-establish communication to the console. From the Apple Push Certificates portal, you should see the APNS certificate that you want to renew. There can be multiple certificates in your portal, as you can have more than one organization group with this configuration. So the best way to tell that you're renewing the correct certificate is by clicking the letter I next to the Renew button. And make sure that the subject distinguished name matches the issued field in the Workspace ONE console. By doing that, you'll eliminate any risks of renewing the wrong certificate, and you will also eliminate any re-enrollments you might need to do if you upload a new certificate instead of the original one. So we'll check this one first. This one ends with 7C2D5E. We'll check the last few characters here under issue 2, and we can see that it does not match. This one ends with 2E9A5E9. So we'll check the next one. So we'll go ahead and check. Make sure it matches. 9A5E9, 9A5E9, so this matches with our certificate, so we can go ahead and continue with the renewal. We'll upload our plist that we downloaded previously. and then download our new certificate. And after we've downloaded our new certificate, we can go back to the Workspace ONE console and click on Next. Upload our new .pem certificate. And add the original Apple ID that we just used to log in and authenticate with your certificates portal. And hit save. After you've added your new certificate, you can check the information again on the APNS for MDM page and check the test connection also to see if everything's communicating properly with the Apple servers. We get a test connection successful and we do see our new valid date till 2021. A common issue we see when users are trying to renew their APNS certificate is that they often do not have the Apple ID credentials that was used to download the certificate originally. As I mentioned before, if you do not have those credentials, you will have to re-enroll all of your iOS devices in order for them to communicate with the console again. And that's a step-by-step -step guide on how to renew your APNS certificate. Thanks for watching.